What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Um, I'm going to do something I haven't done before on my channel. I sent a submission to Hybrid Grading. Um, for those of you that don't know, they go by HGA. They're kind of known for their flashy, colorful labels. Um, I did submit this order in early February. Um, there's five cards in here. I will say that two of them, they kick back to me and fully refund. Um, they are Pokemon cards. So I'm expecting them to hopefully be in the quality that uh, I sent them in. Um, on the website, when I did my submission, you were able to choose the card manufacturer, be it Panini, Topps. Um, they had Wizards of the Coast and Nintendo on there, so I assumed that Pokemon was allowed. Um, again, I was fully refunded. The cards are supposed to be in here. I have no idea what any of the grades are. Um, I just wanted to give HGA a chance, kind of check out you know, what they were all about, see how my cards looked in here. So I sent in some mid-tier cards, so there's no... Justin Herbert autographs or Tom Brady's or anything like that. Um, I've already broke the label. I haven't looked looked in the package at all, so I have no idea what the grades are. Um, let's take a look. Okay. So immediately I see my three graded cards here. Not sure if my Pokemon cards are coming in a different box or if they're maybe wedged in the middle here i'm just going to start from the front right and let's take a look at what we got okay so here is obviously a patrick mahomes from rookies and stars great american heroes uh, i was curious how this one was going to turn out i did see a downtown uh pat tillman card and they actually put the american flag up in the label so this actually is a 9.5 obviously which is hga's gem mint uh, the corners 9.5, as you can read, surface 9.0, edges 10, centering 9.5. So not bad. Pretty happy with that. Great looking card. And this is the, uh, the red prism. Very nice. I'm actually going to open this up, and I have a PSA slab here, because I just want to compare the slabs themselves, how they kind of measure up, how the thickness feels as opposed to PSA. Next card. And we have another 9.5 gem mint. So a CD lamb. Corners on this one 9.5. Surface 9.0. Edges 9.5. Sunray 9.5. This is the Panini Phoenix Rookies. Um, obviously the purple prism. Happy with that one as well. And again, I just sent mid tier cards. I was just kind of curious how these would turn out. Overall, out of these, uh, these first two, I'm pretty satisfied. And then lastly, actually, here we go. So these are my two Pokemon cards that I had submitted. I'm just going to double check here, the, make sure that I got my two cards back that I'd sent in. I was curious how P or PSA, how HGA was going to do with the labeling of Pokemon cards. Um, that's why I'd sent them in. And these are indeed the two cards that I had sent in, so no big deal. In the future, uh, HGA has stated that they are going to do Pokemon. And lastly, I sent in a draft picks of Justin Herbert. So this one graded at a 9 mint. Um, and I will be honest, I wasn't really sure what to expect grading-wise. I know this card I had actually dropped once when I had opened it, so I knew that it wasn't going to be what HGA calls as a flawless a 10. So 9.5 on the corners and centering, and 9s on the surface and edge. Um, again, they're kind of known for their, their label colors. I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks pretty cool. So that's a Justin Herbert draft pick silver. So just to compare really quick, I'm not going to go too long on this video. This is an HGA compared to a PSA. So just slightly taller on the HGA slab. And then as far as thickness, they are quite a bit thicker. Um, yeah, and I'm honestly not sure which I kind of prefer here. I do kind of think I prefer the feel of the PSA slab. I should have grabbed another one for stacking purposes. Let me take another one of these out here. Let's see how the HGAs stack up. So 
So they do stack up pretty nicely. Um, again, they are much thicker than the PSA, and this one's got a little ding in it, it looks like. So that's a little unfortunate. I don't know if that's a bubble in the plastic or it feels like a little a nick got taken out of it during shipping. Um, again, I was going to keep this video fairly short. Pretty excited to have these back. I think that I will submit with HGA again. Um, my personal opinion is they're more um, for personal collectors. Maybe not if you want to flip them and make money. I think, you know, PSA with their history, um, the longevity of the company, I think means a lot more to collectors out there and they probably hold higher value. Um, anyways, thanks for stopping by. If you guys want and you like what you saw, please give the channel a like and a subscribe. Thanks.